Hey Capricorn, how are you doing? This reading is for Capricorn for the second half of September. Mid-month reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind this is a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And Capricorn, if you're new to my channel, I'm a Capricorn moon. I also have three placements of Capricorn in my chart. So I get you guys, I feel you guys, I'm here for you guys. This is a safe place to be, so chill out, relax, and enjoy the reading. And if you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Click on the link, it will take you to the website, and you can check out the options there. What is going on for the fabulous and most magical Capricorns? What do you need to know? What do you need to see for your highest good? Present time. The Five of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. What's coming towards you? The Ten of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. What you are focused on is the Hangman, Major Arcana, Four, Pisces. And your blocked and challenged position is the Six of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. And your outcome is the Ten of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. Okay, Capricorn. Let's clarify this and find out what is going on. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands is the yes card. Say yes to new things, new opportunities. This is also passion, desire, creativity, new house, kind of vacation, journey, and exploring. See how there's like a volcano about to erupt in the background? I feel like you're waking up to your calling, waking up to some kind of purpose or where you are right now, there's like a new perspective shift. So a new way of thinking and understanding. There's also some kind of delay or snag. There could be finances tied up in some kind of home, job. Present time, you have the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups is loss, hurt, regret, resentment, remorse, crying over spilled milk, crying over what has already spilled over. And in your blocked and challenged position is the Six of Cups. And Six of Cups is nostalgic thoughts of the past, reminiscing when times were good, when times were fun, when times were easy. This is also you revisiting old plans that you had in the back of your mind. And a new way of thinking or understanding. And it's like taking a pause, taking a breather, and then shining your uniqueness. This is also to cut cords. What are you energetically holding on to? Regret nothing from your past. Don't let your past hold you back. And this could be like a sibling, a brother, a job situation. And you're like, yeah, but I've been in this for so long. But... I know there's more out there for me. I'm afraid possibly, I'm afraid or I feel bad putting an end to this. Or there's finances tied up here. So here, what is this five of cups? Somebody could also be regretting not investing in you. And the strength card. Wow, that's beautiful energy. That's internal strength. It's about you healing some kind of hurt feelings or feeling like if I surrender and let go of the rope or if somebody's gripping and holding on to you, they could be holding on to you because of financial reasons, materialism, materialistic. Yeah, and I like that you're doing this healing work because this is the card of enlightenment. Or the card of like um, the dark night of the soul. Confidence is key right now. To be brave, to be strong. To be courageous here. It's a card of empowerment. I feel like you have the capabilities to heal external problems with other people. But you also have the capability to heal some kind of internal fire here. Let's see what this Ten of Pentacles is. Ten of Pentacles is foundation, stability, your end-all be-all, your big old house, your white picket fence, whatever your end-all be-all is. This can also be inheritance, retirement, 
or being invited to someone's home. This can be building a home, doing something around your home, working from home. And the Ace of Cups. Wow. Capricorn. There's a new opportunity being presented here to you. And the Ace of Cups is tranquility, peace, harmony, abundance. New beginning, new opportunity, new possibility. Unconditional love for friends, family, loved ones. Or getting together with family, friends, you know. But there's something that you want that is heart-based. So this is financial or making a commitment to something new. It's fresh. This could also be getting a new fur baby. Or if there is something that you're doing, you're tapping into your intuition. Let's see what this hangman is. What is this delay? Or stagnancy. You feel like you've been stuck for a while. But you could have been like stuck on a person or stuck in a job. But there's something that's new presenting to you. This is about making really great money. A great financial opportunity. And the star. Wow. That's such beautiful energy. Look at all this healing energy here. Because the star card is about hope, faith, renewal. Taking some kind of innovative risk. Or innovation. This is your guided light. Or a fear of being in the spotlight. Or you might be gripping and holding on to a past situation. You thought it was your wish fulfillment or dream come true. And that could be like a dream job, a dream home, whatever. But with this new way of thinking and understanding, it's like a blessing in disguise. And you might have to be strong and say something to another individual. Ten of Cups, wow. Let's see what the Six of Cups is. Six of Cups is a need for you to let your inner child out to play. Or there's so much healing right now for you. And the King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. And the King of Wands is... Confident, charismatic, bold, brave, assertive. Somebody who um, is very spontaneous. This is also if you have been like in some kind of leadership role for a while, like manager. It's like being offered a bigger role. Something you've been hoping for, wishing for, dreaming of. Or in your past... Wherever in your past, it doesn't matter where it was. Somebody either said something, did something, and this person knocked your confidence. Queen of Cups, kind, caring, devoted, loyalty. There's an offer of love. This is support and empath. Pay attention to your intuition. Yeah, I just feel like there um, could have been somebody who are in your blocked and challenged position. Like this could be your brother or sister, somebody who you were in a relationship with, or you were extremely attracted to a person. You've been attracted to this person for a very long time, or somebody as vice versa. But this speaks of like, creativity, enthusiasm, passion. It's like your mojo burnt out from somebody from your past. And this is a stepping stone soulmate. Ten of wands. Yeah, love has been hard or heavy. Or you need to let go of what is one-sided. 
Because the Ten of Swords is an impasse. Or take some kind of defeat in a situation, but what you don't see is a blessing in disguise, something else coming in, which could be a new job, a new relationship. What is this Ten of Swords? And the Ten of Cups. Wow. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. And the Ten of Cups is a really beautiful energy. Whatever you think defeated you or was an impasse or a block, lean on your friends and family at this time. This is also returning to good health and healing and financial recovery. And I know that this has been stagnant or stuck, or it's a need for you to pause, reflect, reevaluate, and let your uniqueness shine. Don't be afraid to step out into the spotlight. But there's drama there. Could be dealing with a Leo or a Scorpio here. Five of Wands, Eight of Wands, maybe a Sag as well. Aries Leo Sag. But here, there's also something about inheritance. Because the Ten of Swords could be like an, an actual ending. This is like sadness or hurt, but healing from that. Cats are very independent and cleanly. So this can also be, you know, your happily ever after. This is your end all be all and new love. There's new love coming into your life or you could be actually getting a new fur baby. Animals are very therapeutic and great companions. Um, for some of you, you've lost an animal. Put your creative energy into action. But right here, it's like you have a really great idea. And you've been thinking about this idea for a long time. Turn it into a hobby first instead of turning it into some kind of job see it as a hobby say i'm gonna turn my creativity and show off my artsy fartsy side as a hobby so then it's a lighter approach you're not taking things so seriously or personally or having any kind of fixation on how it should go archangel gabriel joins me to spark your creativity help you communicate your vision and motivate you to create something beautiful Even if you were in a job for a long time, it's like, yeah, I like the people I work with or yeah, I've got fond memories, but is it like that now? It feels like your mojo has died for a person or a situation or a job. Increase your knowledge. Education brings opportunities. Take a course, pick up a book or find a mentor to teach you what your soul longs to know. So this is about like an elder as well, or taking a course, taking a class. It's like opening up to fresh new things. And maybe you've been putting it off, putting it off, putting it off, but now you're revisiting old plans. It's telling you to put your creative energy into action. Don't block this. But there's something about like family dynamics or a relationship that you're trying to heal from or you're like, what if I regret uh, letting this person go? What if nothing better comes? Oh my goodness. Capricorn. Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. You will manifest what you need. Express gratitude as if your plans have already come to pass. Trust that your angels are bringing you the assistance you need. And it says, Archangel Michael up top and then you so something is being grounded in the 3d and you're like yeah but i can't see it i know but don't worry it will happen your vibration is rising this 
is a time of great spiritual growth for you. You are evolving to occupy a higher energetic frequency. And again, like eyes on you, spotlight. Throne, position of authority. This could be your boss stepping down. Who was I saying that to? Was it Taurus? Um, pig, beware of greed. I would also be worried of selfish, greedy pigs. So with beware of greed, it means be wary or be mindful of why you want this person. Or be mindful of why you want to take on this new job and career. Because um, at first it's unconditional love. But with big boots to... With big boots cause big responsibilities. So, you know, you have to make sure that... Um, are you doing it because you love it? Or are you doing it because you want the money? So you have to be mindful about that. Lion, time to act right here. But it's in your blocked and challenged position. So something is still not closed out here or finalized. And then flowers, happiness. For some of you, you're energetically hanging on to something you're hoping, wishing for, desiring, but it's actually a dead end for you. And for others, this is an actual delay of something you are wishing and hoping for, which it could be like a dream job, a dream home, um, a new person coming into your life. And you don't see this person coming. Feather, someone you know is undependable and insincere. For those of you who are energetically hanging on to, this is my soulmate, I gotta stay with my soulmate. This is my twin flame. Don't fall into the illusion, right? The fantasy, the illusion. This can also be somebody you've known from like childhood. Or a need to let that childlike energy out of you. Because ch children, if you watch them, they say it like it is. They ask a lot of questions. And they just have fun. They don't care if other people are watching them or if they do something silly. You don't want to fit in. People who fit in don't stand out. So let your quirky side of you come out of you, Capricorn. Woman, dealing a relationship with a woman. Crib, birth or conception of a child and or enterprise. Wow. This could be new baby. And maybe you have been delaying or being like, do I want children? And then, or there's an energy of, there has been a delay. You've tried and tried and tried and tried. There's also something about a feminine Tower, solid foundation, success with effort. This could be close to home or somebody in your family or in a job like betrays you. Something that you had a lot of love for. And it was because of their greed. They maybe felt entitled to you. Younger man, dealings or relationship with a younger man. It says beware of greed. So here's your children coming to you. Or it could be somebody younger that you know. Where it's like, Capricorn's got a lot of money. Maybe we can bum off them. Fire, strong emotion, passionate love or hate. And then you have bull. Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Right here. Be strong. Be brave. Even if you hurt other people's feelings. Um, and I don't mean like, 
be salty and a jerk to this person. It, you just have to be bold, be brave and say, yeah, um, I'm sorry, that doesn't work for me. And here it's like overcoming something that knocked your confidence or you lost your passion for a situation here. Lightning control your anger or you will be sorry and wishbone a wish is granted. Yeah, so hold back from something. Or there is a need for you to have a big old ugly cry because I feel like it actually will help a lot. It's almost like you're trying to like hold it back from being like, or crying. Let it out. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how this resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe. And Capricorn, if you want to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Click on the link. It will take you to the website and you can check out the options there. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.